Hi guys, it's Cassie and today I have six pairs of the hottest, trendiest designer jeans around, yes. And I am going to try them on for you and we are going to go through this journey of me exploring possibly different jean styles because you know I'm a skinny jeans till I die kind of person. Seeing what I think, going through some of like the hot ones that are quite hard to get and all of that. Do I love them? What are we going to keep at the end and what is going straight back? With jeans, I feel like it's really easy to settle into this like comfortable place of I know the cuts I like, I know the brand I like, I refuse to veer outside of this. Because is it just me or is finding a new pair of jeans one of the most frustrating moments? of one's life okay because there's always going to be like that one or two or maybe more if you're me that you know don't get up past the ankles and you're like but you're all the same size what have you done this to me and then you have a mental breakdown in the changing room it's a whole thing um so i do it very rarely however i'm a little bit like do you know what let's go a little bit outside of your comfort zone cassie let's try something new also i want to give details about my body because <laughs> it's important with jeans I am a UK size 10, US size 6. I have a smaller waist and sort of wider hip situation. So with jeans, it tends to be like suffocating the thighs, wider on the waist, blah, blah, blah. So that's always like a little bit of a struggle there. Let's see if it happens today. I will also be trying each of these on with sneakers and with heels, okay? Because like I have a pair of jeans that's like, those are my designated jeans to wear with heels. They look horrendous on me with flats, but with heels, it's kind of a moment. All of the links to these will be below. Guys, if you are new here, my name is Cassie and I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put out videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. So if you like luxury fashion, then you're gonna love it here. So head down there, subscribe, turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> Never. Okay, guys, let's start off with pair number one. These are the Loewe Anagram straight leg jeans. I mentioned these in a fall essentials kind of like must-haves video because I saw these on the website and I was like what a fabulous little like moment happening here okay it's a little bit unexpected very kind of classic jean style we've got a straight leg situation but then I just love this happening at the knee you know we see distressed jeans we see you know holes in the knees and all of that but have you ever seen this this embroidery of the Loewe anagram no I haven't so I thought that it was fabulous now details of the jeans obviously these are a light wash they're a button up okay we've got to talk about zip up versus button up i was still doing this it's torturous but i'm willing to accept if you're going to serve me enough of a moment you know okay what else do we have here we've got a massive leather loeve what even is that tag tag at the back there it's 100 percent cotton and Let's give it the almighty zero stretcher in that. Do you see that? That's tight. No stretch. So I got these in a size 38. How do we feel? Okay. Do you want to know what? I think that this would be the right size. Look at the butt. Look at the butt. Okay. I think that this would be the right size. I actually kind of like this. Sort of 90s. I feel free, you know, in this area. Okay. My issue is this. I don't like here, okay? And I don't know if that's a me problem or the jeans problem, okay? Aside from that, the waist is okay. Do you wanna know what? Um, I like the detailing, I like the color, all of this. They're actually quite comfortable. It's not giving me 100%, but it's giving me a good 80. I mean, is this not like, she's fashionable. She's killing it, this is really cute. And considering it's raw denim, you know, I can sit comfortably. Let's give it a good squat. We're doing all right yeah pair number two we have from a very well-known denim brand and the brand is mother okay again we have a button up situation fine we do have look at that hello we have some stretch in these a sort of medium wash i like the wash lighter on the knee area than it is everywhere else straight leg cut again i feel like this is giving me like a very classic easy vibe also may i just say from the product picture the butt it was looking nice and peachy okay i think that that's something else that we need to take take into account when trying all of these on how does the butt look not as wide as a cut on the end as the other one 
nice little bit of elastic there hello hello so i'm predicting comfort let's see what happens aside from that nothing crazy design wise it's a very classic pair of jeans i went for a size 28 in these i'm not a fan okay look considering that these had stretch these are tight okay so maybe i don't know i need a size 29 or something but it's just not i don't know it's not giving me if I'm going to pay, how much were these? I pay £240 for a pair of jeans. They better be life-changing. Okay, I better feel fabulous and powerful in them. And I don't in these. Does the butt, butt look good? I actually think it does. I actually think a little bit of peachiness there, okay? But aside from that, like, the length... I, I'm not tall. I'm five foot four and a bit, almost five foot five, okay? And it's just not... Let's see if the heels help. Yeah, even with heels, it's not... You know, it's not giving me what it should. And I just, no, I'm just not happy. It looks, it looks a bit strained here. We could do better. There we go. That's how I want to say it. We can definitely, we could definitely do better than this. Pair number three. This brand really intrigued me. Well, the design really intrigued me. And then when I found out the message behind the brand, I was like, love this. So the brand is ELV Denim, okay? And if you look at it, you're like, oh, something interesting, how amazing. And I actually thought, do you want to know illusion-wise, having darker on the side and lighter in the middle is going to make, uh, it's going to have like a slimming effect, right? Okay, so I like that. Then I found out more about ELV Denim, and they basically, their whole message behind the brand is sustainability. They upcycle unwanted jeans that are going to landfill. So these are literally two pairs of jeans that were going to go die on a hill somewhere, you know? So I like that. What, I went for a size 28. They're made in Eastland. What else are we dealing with here? Again, a kind of straight leg. It looked fabulous on the model, on the product shot online. Got a little uh, raw edge there. High rise. Also, zip up. A fail if I've ever seen one. Look at that. No, I can't, I can't. First of all, it was true. It was traumatising enough putting these on and then they don't even look that good once you know I mean I can't close it that's not happening this isn't no I hate it I hate every second of it um the inside isn't nice because you can feel the joins of the jeans together and uh, you know what maybe you know what I think it's like if you've got hips this isn't gonna work out here I am looking like a toad I literally, I look like Rumpelstiltskin. I don't even think if this was one size bigger, it would be flattering. Look at the leg. Look at the leg on it. No. No, no. It's going straight back, that one. Next up, we have a pair of very controversial jeans and a pair of jeans I've spoken about a number of times on this channel. And from the comments, you either absolutely love the jeans and you get the vibe. You get the vibe. Or you think that they're the most hideous things you've ever seen. These are the Mugler spiral jeans, which famously have the thong butt. <sighs> okay, we're going to try them on and we're going to see. The thing with this, with, these, th with this pair of jeans, get your words out, Cassie, is it has to be styled right and it has to fit tight on the body. This is not going to look good if it's a little bit baggy it's just not it's not gonna give what it's meant to let's get into the details you've got all of this stitching detail this whole thing is about illusion okay because you're like oh, a thong butt you are entirely covered nothing is on show and you basically have a light denim with this stretch jersey so the denim has actually does the denim have any stretch the denim actually has a little bit of stretch, okay? But where you're gonna get the most stretch, stretch is that jersey there. And then you've got all this stitching detail at the front. And basically the black section on the back twists all the way around to the front of a le jean. You've got a high rise, you've got a zip up. It's a kind of skinny jean style. I went for these in a size 38 after much umming and ahhing. I went on like five different sites looking at the size description thing and like should if it says it comes up small and whatever. Let's see. Let's see if everything that I thought these jeans would be are actually going to be that. <sighs> Do the shoes go? Not necessarily, but just imagine that they're black. I hate to report that I absolutely love these. Okay, did it require a little bit of um, contortion? A little bit of um, some sort of 
athletic ability to get into these. Yes, it did, but look, she can squat all the way down and that's all that matters. Okay, these are, what, what size did I say, 38? And once they're on, I like how they look, okay? Because I want them to be tight to the body for the illusion, okay? But the big thing here is gonna be, how do we look with a sneaker? I actually think that this works and I'm a little bit shocked by it because I was like, these are gonna be heels only jeans. Look at this kind of like tape underneath just to make sure it's all up there. I like these, okay? And I think they're really cute and I also think that possibly I'm killing it, okay? So don't say anything contrary to that fact. Next up, we have a brand that I've never heard of before, but I saw this style online and I was like, okay, this is like the style that everybody's wearing now. It's that kind of straight leg, a little bit on the baggier side situation. So I thought, brilliant, we're talking about trendy jeans. I'm trying to, you know, run you out of my comfort zone. Let's have a go. So the brand is Made in Tomboy. You've got button up, okay? You've got this little Tomboy label at the back there that I think is, is horse hair. I don't know. Size 28. Um, aside from that, we have no distressing. We just have that. Oh, look, this is a cute little feature that I didn't notice. It just says boy on the back of the leg somewhere. A little bit of, you know, like some small distress details, but nothing big, nothing crazy. Another sodding disappointment. Oh, gosh. Another sodding disappointment, let me tell you. <sighs> Once again, uh, not happening. Not happening for us, okay? If it was one size up, then I think we maybe we could have worked. Because it's a shame, because the inside of this is really nice. Okay, it's like nice and soft. It's a soft, considering that it is, I mean, I don't really think there's, is there stretching? There's a bit of stretch in that, actually. But they clearly size, you've got to size up in these. Because I actually think if these were the right size, butt would have looked cute. You know, imagine, imagine for me, please, okay? I think that the leg would have looked good, actually. You know, even with a heel. I can't be bothered to put them on. You know, it's been, it's been traumatizing enough. And then the last pair of jeans. My gosh, were these actually pretty hard to track down. So they're a little bit more readily available if you want the distressed version with like the knees out. But these ones are the non-distressed, full denim, I don't know, <laughs> jeans. These are the Danielle jeans by Kate, Kite, whatever you want to call it, okay? They are a kind of mid-wash denim. I think that they do do them in two different washes. And they've got like an enamel kind of vintage looking button. Everything else is zip up. Nothing crazy happening, right? Now, I got these in a size 28 as well. Um, and these are designed to visually elongate the legs, okay? They're a high-rise, straight-leg, slim fit. What does that mean? We're going to figure it out. Um, these high-rise jeans flatter with a stove-type silhouette and the structure of pure cotton denim. Each hand-finished pair has an enameled button of antiqued brass. So these have been very popular amongst the uh, fashion crowd and all of that. Let's give them a go. Let's see if they deliver what they're meant to deliver because I know that it says like it's kind of a slim fit and everything, but that looks like a wide, a wide end there, isn't it? What are we dealing with here? Yeah, that's a raw denim that. Okay, does the bum look flat? Yes, it does, but I think that these do not lie when they say that they elongate the legs. Okay, I really like these and I did not expect to. We are tight here though. We are tight right here. And I don't know if a size up is going to, anyone else do the jeans dance? Um, I don't know if a size up is gonna help that um, because it might loosen up here and then everything else is loose and then we're not getting the vibe because I like everything else. Stop. How cute with the heels. She's giving me fashion. She's giving me leg. Give me leg. Squat though. There we go. It's stopping there. You see how tight that is? But still flat. It just looks... Again, I don't know if that, this is maybe the tightness once again, but I think that they look great. Stop it. Yes, uh, Kate Danielle. So after all of that, 
I am in love with the Mugler jeans, okay? The other jeans that really surprised me that I really liked were the Kate Danielle ones. <gasps> A um, little bit of a flat butt situation, but I don't know if I just don't care enough because the leg section was just too good. Okay, update on the jeans. I ended up keeping the Mugler jeans and the Kate Danielle jeans. Then some days went by and then I was like, I think I'm actually going to return the Mugler jeans because I just feel like I would always wear it with a black turtleneck and then it's like, Oh, there is no versatility in these jeans. Oh, maybe if I was more experimental with like my tops, like if I, you know, like those like really cute Mugler tops or blah, blah, blah. But then you shouldn't buy things and then have to buy more things in order to make that thing more versatile. Does that make sense? And I was just like, do you wanna know what? I love the jeans. And if I ever see them on anybody else, I'm gonna just sit, sit there and be like, you did what I couldn't and I love you for it okay and I know that but I just think that I needed to be in this case sensible because how many times can you just wear those jeans with a black turtleneck and not get bored you know you know anyway the Kate jeans I also ended up returning but for a bigger size I want to see what the 29 looks like I think I'm gonna have a look at the made in tomboys again in like maybe two sizes up because I like looking back on the footage I really liked how those looked I know that this video is a little bit of a mess I just really wanted this video to be super honest about my journey with jeans because it's so tumultuous and frustrating anyway I hope that this was in some way helpful and if it wasn't helpful then I'm, I hope it was at least entertaining or you got a laugh out of it you know let me know what you thought of the jean selection I'm going to leave a link to another video here in case you haven't already seen it have an amazing morning afternoon or evening wherever you are and in the words of my father if you've enjoyed it tell your friends if you haven't keep your mouth shut hey we'll see you in my next video Mwah. bye guys